let's walk through the steps of a good effective lesson. First you set the feeling tone, correct? Anticipatory set, statement of objective, then you have your what? Engagement or introductory developmental, then you have your guided practice. So what are they doing? What's the whole class doing? Guided practice. So you're walking around, but your leaders and co-leaders go to Leadership Academy. There are only three stations you're going to have to explain in Leadership Academy, manipulatives, games, and technology application. Then you send your leaders and co-leaders back. For the first few minutes, do not bother them. Don't go back and tell them everything. Your temptation is to go and explain everything, to let them use no deductive or inductive reasoning. Think about a handheld. Who's ever watched a, uh, a child or an adult use a handheld video game? Xbox, DS, 3DS, okay. When they get a new game, do they sit down with the package, open up the instruction manual, and read exactly how to play? What do they do? Then why do we think we need to explain everything? You make sure they have leader folders. These stay at the stations. When you develop a station, you put in the instructions, and then I, most of my teachers even put in hints. They'll put in the answer key. This is also where some of the, the exit questions could be. It's also where your passports could be. This, of all the elements, this is one of the first ones people skip. And they always go back and put it in because it changes everything.